Hi, I'm Joe Navarro, and we're going to be talking about the kinds of things that you should focus on. I'm a strong believer in situational awareness. You know, the limbic brain helps us to analyze the world around us, but we have to direct our attention. We have to be aware of what's in front of us, what's to the side of us, what's behind us. We have to be aware of not, the player, not just the player that's on the button and not just the player whose turn it is to either call or raise or act. We have to be aware of everybody else at the table. Who's affected by that call? Who isn't affected? How do they react? How do they sit at the table? So I always begin by noticing where people place their hands. Record in your mind, where is it that everybody has their hands? And we'll talk about hand behaviors later. But this is a good place to start because most people don't realize where they put their hands on the table. Most people don't realize how far in those hands are, how far out. They're not paying attention to their fingers. Are the fingers together? Are they intertwined and so forth? But you, as a good observer, can begin to notice these things and build a sort of portfolio of, oh, this player, when he sits, he places his hands here. He holds his hands this way. The other thing I like to look at is how high or how low do they sit? Some players sit very low in the chair. Some players sit very high. And then look for changes in that throughout the game. Are they sitting lower? Are they sitting higher? We want to look for the most immediate reactions on the part of players to anything that happens on the table. So the flop comes out. We want to look and see, well, what was the reaction of everybody at the table? Were some people elated? Were some people concerned? Were some people in a situation where they're having trouble dealing with whatever happened? You have to be mindful of this at all times. So we look for immediate behaviors, for instance, of confidence. We look for immediate behaviors of lack of confidence. We look for immediate behaviors of discomfort to reveal to us how that person really feels. Because we know this, poker players like to bluff. And overacting, acting, bluffing, all this comes into play when you have enough time to figure out what it is that you want to do. But limbic reactions are so fast, they're so quick, they're so immediate that we can rely on them because they happen before a person has time to act them out, before they have time to orchestrate them. So we want to look for those immediate reactions. We also want to look for the reactions of people to each other, the reactions of people to the cards that are dealt, and so forth. We also want to see the reactions of players to things that are heard. We want to see their reactions to things that are called out, to other activities at the table. And of course, you want to be able to control your own reactions. You know, we've talked about concealing ourselves, protecting ourselves, guarding what we reveal. And so sometimes we actually have to take a moment and say, you know, be careful here that you're, you're, maybe you're marginally strong, maybe you think you're very strong, and something happens at the table, and boy, you just leak how strong you are, how confident you are. And so you have to protect for these things. And, of course, you want to be aware of what people say and how they say it. Because sometimes when we are strong, our voice reflects that we're strong. When we're weak, our voices reflect that we're weak or we lack confidence. So we want to look at everything around us. We want to look at what's immediate. We want to look for what looks confident. Or we want to look for things that um, appear to be less confident.